far cry from the small, sour green apples of an English hedgerow to the fine fruits grown in gardens today. And much of the early history is now little more than conjecture. However, to see a little behind the scenes in present day fruit breeding, we must go back a few months to see the same apple trees in bloom, the busiest time of the year for plant hybridizer. To make sure that flowers receive only the right pollen, a gauze cage is set up to cover a whole tree and keep out insect visitors. It's true that some of our best known fruits have arisen as chance seedlings, without any contriving by the breeder. But the odds against this are as small as winning a football pool. Sometimes it's more convenient to keep the plants in a glass house. Well, you know what the English weather can be like. And so they're arranged in pots which can be shifted around easily. With gauze over the windows, there's no need to worry about pollen contamination by bees. Where we tied any insect that gets in here. Fruit breeding is always a lengthy business. Grafting and budding can speed it up a little, but it still takes four to six years for apples, plums or cherries to come into fruit from seed. Pears take even longer. When growing under field conditions, a further thinning out can take place to get rid of backward or mildew susceptible plants. Even so, the regular spray program is kept up as in commercial orchards. Typical of a long-term project to improve the garden apple is the attempt to introduce mildew resistance from a wild Chinese species with tiny yellow fruits but tough immune foliage. Crossed with the garden apple, Rome Beauty, this is the best that came out of the first generation. Flavour? Well, the less said the better. So a second cross was made from this to Golden Delicious, and here's the result. Nothing to write home about, but at least it's an improvement. And so we go a step further, crossing this to the popular Canadian variety Jonathan. And at last we get something comparable to a good market apple, plus resistance to mildew. Three generations of apple breeding, and more to come, to bring a single new virtue to the many we demand from top quality fruit. Much of plant breeding relies on searching among the wild species looking for new attributes. We can't create characters to order, we can only exploit such variation as nature offers. Especially looked for are the occasional sports or mutations, like this red-skinned sport of cocks, throwing reversions to the normal type, whole fruits and sometimes half and half. Changes of this sort can be permanent, and if found on a single branch or even on a single fruit, are sometimes suitable for propagation and use in breeding. And so back to our experts, still undecided on which of the latest fruits justify a place on the exhibition table, and one day in your dessert bowl at home. <laughs>